we're not just talking just on YouTube. Now we've been about this for 13 years yes. and now four years in marriage. And if marriage. And so, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the last point? So the last point with you getting excited and all is making me excited because the last point is to have fun in your marriage. Hey. You got to have fun in your marriage. Like when you're in a marriage, you're still dating. You yeah. should still make make sure that you are creating fun and new and exciting experiences, mm -hmm. so whatever that looks like for you. Mm -hmm. Every relationship is different. But I think that oftentimes you hear people when they talk about some of the challenges that they've experienced um, in their relationship or reasons why the relationship has dissolved, the mm -hmm. marriage has dissolved, is because they said that their partner doesn't make them happy. They're not having fun. They haven't smiled. They haven't yeah. joked, you know? And I think that it is so important because when you're in it for the long haul, you got a lifetime you together. Are right. And you want to make sure that we're constantly like enjoying each other's company, right. enjoying each other's time. Like, I want to make you smile. I, hope, I want you to make me smile every day. Like, you should be the person that I go to mm -hmm. for everything. And if I know that I need a pick me up, if I know I want to smile, laugh, have some fun, the first person, person that I should think of is my partner. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. So, when's the last time you laughed with your partner? Yeah. When's the last time? you had a really fun experience with your partner mm -hmm. just going on a, a spontaneous date or something mm -hmm. like these things are so important for the longevity of a relationship mm -hmm. of a marriage because when you lose that aspect of fun you're really losing the aspect of your marriage mm -hmm. you're losing the aspect of the connection mm -hmm. the because conne part of it is most of the time when people meet someone what makes them want to stay with that person for a very long time and who they see themselves with is because of the fun that they've had with that person right. and those experiences that they've shared with that person. Right. And they want to continue to have that fun right. and share these new experiences for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So when a part of that is gone, you take away that fun. It's like it's taking away a piece of the marriage. Yeah. And it, and it takes away the thrill. Yeah. And a lot of relationships get, they get started off of the thrill, but then when the thrill is gone, when that spark kind of well as far as like the puppy love stage mm -hmm. is gone then you lose that sense of fun but a real long lasting relationship gets past that puppy love stage mm -hmm. get past the whole thrill of a new relationship stage and understands the the true foundation and fundamentals of who this person is mm -hmm. and who they can be for you mm -hmm. and your relationship and your your love for that person is based off of that, based off of who they actually yeah. are, not just the thrill of something new. And I'm going to throw a corny little bit in there just to say when you think about the fundamentals of a marriage, you can't spell fundamentals without fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was corny. And what you get? <laughs> oh, just keep that in mind. But we can end it off of that. We can end it off your corny joke. We can end it off my corny joke. So to wrap things up, the four points that we wanted to share with you guys, just some tips to uh, keep that spark alive, to thrive, um, to find joy in your marriage, and that's honor and respect. Mm -hmm. That's adaptability. We also have stewardship. And remember to keep it fun in your marriage. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and close out. My name is Jen. I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. Find joy in the journey. Peace. Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. 